Hey guys, so I wanted to share with you what I bought and I'm going to be doing an epoxy mold design. So stay tuned for that. So yesterday, actually, okay. So two days ago, I ordered on Amazon epoxy resin and I ordered some measuring cups. Now, and they're disposable, disposable measuring cups. I found out that measuring the epoxy is way more accurate than weight because the A and B epoxies that are in different bottles, they have different densities. So they weigh differently by the, you know. So that, I'm glad I didn't start doing the weight for anything except my son's cup. So that could be the reason why things aren't drying for my friend Jess because she's been doing it by weight and I did send her an, a text about it and I was like, hey. So we both went and ordered measuring cups with um, the measurements on it. So those have not arrived that arrived yet, but they will arrive today. They're supposed to be here pretty much any minute between 10:45 and 2:45, and it's like 11 something right now so um yeah but anyways <laughs> I want to show you what I bought from this kit and this kit was from Amazon and it's $49.99 and there was a $5 off coupon that if you click on it it attaches at the register so I got it for $44.99. So, um, I will put the link to this as well as the measuring cups in the description box down below in case you would like to buy this as well. Um, so yeah, that deal might still be going on. I'm not sure, but anyways, so this is 84 ounces of epoxy altogether. So each bottle has 42 fluid ounces in it. Um, I did not go with the gallon because, um, the gallon was an extra $10 and I was like, I'd rather not like it is, you get more for your dollar. But at the same time, I was like, I don't want to spend $70 cause I it was already $9.99 for the measuring cup. So I'm like, we'll just keep it at 60. Um, and that's plus tax and everything. So this is a, this is the a bottle of resin and this is B. So the a is the resin. And the B is the um, hardener. So this is what hardens it. So they don't dry up unless they're together. So I, when I, I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to put these in those squeeze bottles that I have because I feel like it's easier to get more precise um, amounts with the squeeze bottle than trying to like pour this and have it um, go to the line where you want to, especially when the cups are small. So I'm going to do that as soon as I'm done showing you guys this, and then we're going to make something. But anyways, this kit also came with a silicone measuring cup, which um, I don't know if I'm going to use this very often because um, with things that I do, I mix colors and everything, and I have four or five colors that I'm working with sometimes. Um, so just one thing is not that simple because you have to wait till the epoxy dries to be able to um, peel it out and clean these out. So this is just going to go like if I make, if I just need to mix, um, clear epoxy for something, I'll probably use this. Then it comes with stirrers, but these are silicone stirrers. So, um, again, this I'll probably be using with just one color, um, because you have to wait till it dries to be able to peel it off, but these are silicone stirrers. So these are reusable and it comes with two. So I thought that was really neat. Then it comes with the user manual to tell you like things you need to know about it. Um, I already know how to use epoxy. So then this thing I think is to keep your table safe. So I'm going to be using this. I'm going to be putting this down before I start. And then it comes with a pair of gloves. So pretty nice. Kit. I mean, it doesn't come with too much, but I really only bought it for the epoxy. So it was nice to get a couple extra things 
with it and like i said i'll put the link in the description box down below as well as the measuring cups which i'll show you them as soon as they get here right now i'm just going to use what i have um i have a couple measuring cups left over from ones that i took um from jess's house so um yeah today i'm going to make that honey jar the twist on um honey pot jar I'm really excited and I'm going to be using like honey bee type colors and I did order these little bee charms off of Timu. They haven't come yet because I ordered them yesterday. Um, but as soon as they come in, I'm going to use my UV resin and glue a bee onto the jar, maybe two, um, and just make it really cute. And if it comes out really nice, I will be putting this up on my Poshmark to sell. So I am trying, I am starting to make things that I want to start putting up on my Poshmark to sell. So, um, yeah, I will let you know when things start going up just in case you guys would like to purchase anything. Um, cups, I'm kind of putting that on the back burner for selling right now because cups, I really have to get, um, my smoothing technique down because, um, Royce's cup was far from perfect. Um, getting the colors on there correctly and getting, um, everything smooth. I don't want to sell something if it's not, um, nice quality. So anyways, let's get into this. All right. So I have my bottles of A and B resin and I've labeled them. And now I'm gonna put on my other glove and we're gonna start mixing some colors for the epoxy. Okay, so this is the mold that we're gonna be using. We're gonna be pouring it in this part and this part right here, this is the lid. So I'm gonna be making like a yellow Color. So I have this like golden yellow mica powder right here. So now I'm gonna transfer it into this bigger cup just because I'm mixing, this is not gonna be the yellow, this is going to be the glitter. I'm mixing glitter in here. I'm gonna take so. my glitter and I'm going to add some in. Not really sure how much I want. maybe a little bit more. And this is a really pretty like yellow gold glitter. There we go. So that's my glitter. So I put equal parts, two and two ounces, fluid ounces. And we're just gonna mix that up and then I'm going to put the mica powder into it. You guys, so this angle is so off. I didn't even get any of it on camera. So this is filled to the top. Um, I'm excited to see how it's gonna look when it comes out. But now we're gonna fill the lid, but I have to remix some things. So I'll be right back. All right, I didn't mix a clear this time, but we're gonna start with the yellow because this is the, you know, honey drip part. So I'm going to start and I'm going to pour in the yellow and then kind of let it settle. And then I'm gonna pour in some white and I'm gonna pour in some of the gold glitter. I am so sorry that, oh, let's move this back a little bit. I'm so sorry that the other part did not go on camera. I didn't even realize that I wasn't in frame. So that's what happened with that. And then now we're going to pour in the glitter. And I'm really excited to see how this turns out. And we're just gonna let it settle for a second and see if I need to pour in any more, maybe just a tad. And then we have some extra resin. So I'm going to find a mold so we don't waste any. 
and I'm gonna make like a keychain or something. Right, so I'm gonna use this one up here. You can see it, explicit content, so I don't really wanna say <laughs> what it says, but we're gonna pour in the yellow. We're gonna pour in some of the, whoop, the white. And then we're gonna pour in some of, I'm gonna put gloves on. Then we're gonna pour in some of the glitter. All right, now I have gloves on. So I'm gonna pour in the rest of that white. And we're, I'm gonna kind of like, marble it in there a little bit. And then some of the glitter, the rest of the glitter. Oop, I bumped you. And I'm in the way too. You can't see what I'm doing. I might need to put a little bit more of the yellow in there as well. And I really don't think I have enough epoxy for anything else, so. that like just fit. And then I'm gonna just kind of swirl it a little bit and we'll see how that looks when that's done. But I'm excited. Okay, so we're done. All right, so I'm gonna show you everything up close. Here's that keychain we just made. Now here is, I'm gonna move these glitters out of the way. So down here, you can see that the glitter is down here. There's a layer of clear and white. There's that layer of yellow. And then we've got that like clear and glitter layer up here. And then there is the lid. So I'm super excited to see how these turn out. All right, you guys. So it's Saturday. It's 24 hours later. I looked up like when you can take epoxy resin stuff out of the molds, it says, 24 hours later, you should be good to take it out, but it takes about seven full days to fully cure. So I'm still going to want to let it sit for about seven days before I do anything with it, like sell it or whatnot. Um, but I'm excited. So I want you to see the whole peeling process of taking it out of the molds because that's one of my favorite parts. So I'm gonna pan you down and we're gonna take all of these out of the molds. I'm gonna do the keychain first and then the jar second. Wow, it was hard to get that jar out, but oh my gosh. Okay, 
So here's the keychain, and what I do need to do is I need to shave down the edges on this because it did spill over just a little bit, and then I need to take a little bit of UV resin and just pop it over the edges to make them shiny after filing, pop it under the UV lamp, and we are good to go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I think, take black um, gel polish, just a little tiny brush, and fill in the live, laugh, F off. Because it's really hard to see it um, when it doesn't have a color. So I'm going to do that. And then, um, yeah, look, it is still a little bit pliable. So you don't want to bend it or mess with it or any of that. Um, I'm going to wait till this dries a little bit more before I, um, I can cut this off and then I can file it down once it's fully cured, um, and fix the edges and whatnot. And then I will do the lettering and then I'll put this one up on my Poshmark. Um, and I'm definitely going to be making a lot more of these in different colors. Um, the keychain things I feel like are what I use my, what I'm going to be using the leftover resin for, um, and then just sell them as I make them. Now here is the jar. Now this bottom part needs to be filed down and then, um, touched up with a little bit of UV resin. But here is what it looks like. Definitely like honey colored. I love it. The inside is so smooth. And then it's got the glitter base on it. And then it's got the glitter and the white up here. And then here is like the honey color dripping down. And then the glitter all over the lid which i think is really cute and then this needs to be filed down a little bit and touched up as well but it fits perfectly on top i love it and then once my bees arrive i'm going to take a little bit of um uv resin and then stick like a bee or two on the edges and have it like a little honey pot and then I don't know if I'm going to write anything or not like cricket anything on it or not but I can um in the future or if anyone like sees something on my Poshmark and requests like lettering put on it I will stick um something on it your name a quote whatever honey um just let me know if you do choose to order it and yeah, we'll go from there, but that's how it turned out. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below, um, of my molds that I have of what you want to see and what you would want to purchase because, um, I will make the things that you guys want to buy and I will put them up on my Poshmark to sell. Um, let me know color schemes if you want any certain color schemes. But yeah, um, I'm not really a made to order person on this. I'm more of a, I make it and then um, put up what I like and what turns out nice. Um, because I'm not really skilled enough to do made to order stuff because if it doesn't turn out, there's a lot of epoxy wasted. Um, but yeah, so for now, I'm just going to be like putting things up for sale, but this is my first item. I gotta wait for it to cure. I gotta wait for the bees to come to glue. I'm gonna glue bees onto this and then it will be done. And then the keychain, I just have to, to file it down, do the lettering, and that'll be done. So um, I'm definitely going to be working on a lot more projects, some off camera, some on camera. Um, but yeah, that's everything for today. Let me know down in the comments if you like this, if you would want to purchase this or the keychain after it's finished. Um, but yeah. 
that's everything. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day. Bye!